It has been over a year and a half since I vlogged last, okay? October 19th, 2019. 19 months ago. We are in a completely different normal from back then, okay? It has been, I'm a little rusty, all right? This is all just to preface the fact that this might be a subpar, okay? In this footage, my camera lens is caked with dirt, debris, dust, and what I can only attribute to being wet Dorito crumbs. <laughs> It was a long road trip, okay? At some parts the audio is terrible because the ocean wind is blowing harder than a college freshman on a first date and I am tired of suckling on the teat of mediocrity, I know, but like please cut me some slack here. Basically, I was driving to Massachusetts to visit my boyfriend. The world is opening back up. I am wax vax ready to go and I wanted to bring you along with me. He's just a boy with lemon socks. <laughs> Waiting for hubby to get done work so he can buy me jewels. Jewels, rubies only. <laughs> rubies only. You know, like just the cigarettes. Wow, look at her go. Look at my gutch. Outfit check. Outfit fit. Toothpaste, no cap. <laughs> Corn, not chili. <laughs> Can I wear these? They don't fit me. Too small? Yeah. Too small? Too small. No, they fit like a croc. No, they're like, they like, compared to the other one, they don't fit. I don't know. Look at the back of your foot, it's hanging out. It does. Well, that's because I don't have it in sport mode. I'm gonna document it. I wish you'd just help me with it instead of. I could do that. Can you help me? <laughs> It's not behind me, you're like a rabbit. I always do. Stop! Stop. It. <laughs> oh no, it, him. it's too bright. <gasps> you stabbing him. That was scary. Well, there I wasn't were... gonna allow that. It's gonna hurt someone in front of me. He's a bully. <laughs> May I also say that that bird fiasco was not the first one that happened today. I was in his kitchen doing the dishes and a bird literally Full suey ran into the window. I don't know what its intentions were, but we are on the second floor and it just didn't care and it just hit the window and it scared me. So, thought I'd let you know. Vibe check. Ma'am, are you lost? Oh, hi, big fella. Looking for a good time. <laughs> oh my god, you're gonna get me banned. Us gays did as us gays do, so we got some iced coffee with Duncan in hand and Adventure on the Heart. My boyfriend Zach and I set out to Newport, Rhode Island, home of everyone's favorite cigarette, to explore the war. Look at her. She says, come on in. It's a Christmas to remember. I like the cobblestone. Cobbledy, cobbledy, co cobble, cobble. Can you tell us a little bit about the history of these? Yeah, of course I can. These are a modern traditional witch's stone. A witch would come here in the 1700s and they would ship directly on the stone. <laughs> Afterwards, they would smear it and say, Wiccan, Wiccan, get me the chicken. <laughs> Call that deviled egg. I just want everybody to know that Zachariah got coffee this morning and instead of handing his card, he handed his whole wallet. Yeah, because I'm generous. Ask his hello. Oh. Hey, uh, the person who sent you this wants you to click it or tick it. Hey, uh, cap, no cap of cola. Hey, yo, corn, no cap. <laughs> He had a tattoo, that old man had a tattoo of a boot on his face. A boot? A boot. 
A boot? Why a are you boot? saying it like that? It was a boot. A what? A boot. A boot? And if you look right over here, you'll see Pasta Beach, Pasta where beach is so good. you're guaranteed to step on a fu fuzili. <laughs> Is yeah. it a pasta? And they call it beach glass. They call it beach glass, but it's really marinara. Then we went to this amazing mansion. It's called The Breakers. I, I think if you're from the area, you get it. If you're not like me, I was like, what is the break? Like, our, I thought he was going to take me to, to go see some circuit breakers, which I mean, it is actually the Vanderbilt family summer mansion, not the regular mansion, just like a summer escape when you just, you know, want to get away. And I, I am blessed and I'm so thankful for everything that I have, but when I tell you, when I saw it, I have never felt poorer and I had this rush come over me that just really made me feel like a peasant um, and I realized that I don't know what the K and 401k stands for so it was a little overwhelming, but the views were gorgeous. Pretty insane, right? It is. We just saw how like clouds look like that. I always like painted like. I know. Wow. Okay. Come through house tour. Oh, look at that gremlin. Oh, can you? Yeah. Oh, a vintage Walmart bag. Like, what's up there? Where? Imagine how they feel up there. Imagine how they feel. <laughs> uh, okay. Ew. What? What is it? That's a fountain. Oh, what is it? <gasps> It's a lobster. That's a bird dick. Um, we've come to the conclusion that the security here has named, uh, nicknamed us hashtag tie dye trouble. Mm -hmm. Let's get a trending. Let's get a trending. <laughs> hey, MTV, welcome to my house. It's a full open concept, as you can see. This is every bathroom, kitchen, main floor, sauna, and don't forget where the magic happens. The, the magician's quarters. <laughs> you want to lock it up? Should we lock it up? Stream Build a Bitch by Bella Porch. They said build a bitch, so we did. The city of Annie in Rhode Island. We're going to build a dock. It's going to be porous, and it's going to be a little bit smaller than medium size. And I'm going to call it the Little Wharf in Annie. Kickstarter linked below. It's my neighbor. So this is their newspaper, but it's all gossip. They want you to pay $2.99 for their gossip. Um, we ordered fruit salad, but it came with a lot of peppered beef. <laughs> That's balsamic. I mean, it could, it could be gravy, but what would gravy go with? Yeah, I think it's balsamic. It's either balsamic or gravy, but what would gravy be on? It do look like gravy, but it might be balsamic. It's balsamic. Look at it, look at it, look at it. I don't want you to see. Oh, look at it. Oh, 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 oh. So close, so close, so close. A little chutney for the slutney. Ooh, I got a hot toddy. Or no, wait, what? No, what is this? A hot Paloma. And he got a lemon spritzer water because it's beach bot time. Don't tell people I put my band aid on my charcuterie board. The next day we attended a rhinestone rodeo at my boyfriend's friend's house and it was fantastic. Everyone was fully Pfizered, ready to go, having a good time, dressed up like rhinestone cowboys, thriving, taking pictures. Let's see some highlights. It 
got messy. I woke up with hay in my butt crack and shin splints from doing Hannah Montana hoedown throwdown. Not once, not twice, but thrice. But it was amazing. Then we took a sporadic trip to Boston where I had, I have flown into Boston, but I never like explored Boston. And like, it was great until it wasn't. The drive there was beautiful. We were grooving to music, circa 2010 Tumblr. We got drinks at this place called Marielle. We admired the spring tulips, and I was just thinking how strange it is that the same universal creator who made these sprouting beauties also made the brain of the man who invented blooming onions. God works in mysterious ways, I guess. We made friends with two geese and a squirrel while watching swan boats in the park as an orchestra cover of Beach Boys' Wouldn't It Be Nice echoed in the distance. We stopped for lunch and drinks al fresco, ordered our Indian pale ales, and the weather took a turn for the worse. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Calm down. It's not even that bad. My God. Look at this. What is happening? Oh no. Cheers. Happiness and dryness. It's okay. I really can't complain though. We always have so much fun. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos from me. The thumbs up button if you enjoyed this because it actually helps me on the back end. And until next time, be kind to yourself and to others. Bring an umbrella if you're going to Boston.